Hi, my bunnies. It's been a while since I have made a video and do reading for you guys. And um, I was going through some transformation and I was doing a lot of shadow work. So uh, the time was needed and was very well spent. And I have new oracles and so much new energy insight to share I'm here in the canyon in a grassy area um, in the city of Hollywood California doing this reading for you all out in nature connecting to the grass Now this reading is going to be a love reading, dipping my toes back in you guys, getting back into center and connecting with source so I can be a conduit, okay? What is happening in your love life, okay? And what's coming? You have three cards to choose from. These are rune cards, by the way. First card, the protection rune, the protection card. Okay. Second card, it's fertility card. There's the rune. Okay. Third card, which is the third reading you can choose from. It's a flow card. Okay. Use your intuition to go with which ruin is resonating with you right now. Perhaps you, you're seeking protection energetically, emotionally, mentally. Perhaps you're feeling sensing abundance on its way fertility you are full of ideas have hope in the flow perhaps you're in a place in life right now in your life where you're in the flow whether you're connected or not you feel flowing energy okay choose which one resonates you guys all right let's start with pile number one okay Pile number one. Now, those of you who chose the protection room, um, I can sense you're going through a lot of emotional, emotional upheaval, confusion. Um, you're getting lost in your emotion. That's probably why you're drawn to this. And you are seeking protection from the storm of emotions you're going through in your love life. And it's probably leaking out to your personal life too. And to your your public life as well. Your your life in society amongst your, your peers and your family as well. Well the protection room is here to tell you that you're gonna get balance of these emotions. That's what's coming up, and that's going to be your protection. Honor your emotions, whether you're feeling rage, anger, sorrow, um, heartbreak, rejection. Sit with them and observe them and honor them. Learn from them and accept them. Okay? That's the protection to gain control over your emotions. It doesn't mean you're not gonna feel them. It doesn't mean it's not gonna hurt. But it means by observing them, they don't, they don't take root in your subconscious and grow those subconscious weeds. By observing them and sitting in them for the duration it takes for you to overcome them. Okay? To understand them, to process them, is honoring your emotions. It could take a long time sometimes. But, it, you know, 
it's a process. It's a journey. It doesn't mean we're, we're, we're we are um, stagnant or 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 halted. Okay, we're actually in acceleration when we're processing our emotions. You know, honoring them. Most people tend to run from their emotions when they're when it comes to facing the darker side, the emotional landscape. Most people run from their shadow work, and thus their lives end up, they end up having to deal with this years down the line. And it creates complications in their, in their lives. Paw number one, you're being called to ascend and transcend your heartbreak. Okay, let's pull the tarot cards. First card, Five of Cups. Here we see a person who's heartbroken and despondent and, and really fixed on what has been spilt, what has been lost. This is a heartbreak card. But this person doesn't realize that this what was lost, whatever relationship has cut has come to its ending. It was for a reason. Whatever heart, the heartbreak you're going through right now is for a reason. Okay. Um, look at behind this this individual. There are two cups standing. That's the real. That means the real ones coming. The divine love. Okay. And you're focused on this. What has been spilt. What has been lost. And regret. You're being called to honor those feelings. But it's time to start romanticizing your notions instinctively about what's to come, about a deeper love to come, because you have become deeper and understand yourself so much more now through this process. Second card, the judgment card. There's judgments coming in, and I sense it's on your end as well as on the end, uh, as well as from the Almighty, the Divine. You've made a judgment. Good for you. You've made a judgment, is what I'm being told, to carry on. You're ready for resurrection. You're ready to ascend from the situation. You've been heartbroken for too long. You're ready to turn around and claim your two cups. I have a feeling it's coming. Third card, the world card. Exactly as I said, it's coming. A new chapter. The world is a new chapter, a new cycle. A new cycle for you, pal number one. New love, new energy, new fun. That word is so important to me. Fun. The dawn of the rising fun. Okay, fourth card. What did I say? There it is. The Ten of Cups. The divine union. Not a karmic one. Look at this. This is um, divine union. This is Star seed. This is um, twin flame. This is not your typical human earth romance. This is on a much deeper alchemical level, and that's why you've been, you've gone through this, Father One. The heartache you've gone through, whatever this recent breakup is, whatever this person has done to you, it served a purpose, and that was to to clarify your soul to pull out those weeds and make you fertile and ripe for this the true love that's coming I sense it's going to even be more than a partner this union is going to blossom and create a lot of abundance in your life 
monetarily as well, in the material world, financially as well. Fifth card, temperance. It's perfect. Let's see, in the traditional Rider Waite deck, this is the Archangel Michael with the two, two chalices, tempering water, pouring water back and forth, and getting, you know, just getting it just right. Getting the alchemy just right, the flow, the energy, think about it, the energy of water, just the right flow, it's flowing back and forth. Two, two energies, polarity, you look masculine, feminine, positive, negative. This relationship that's coming is going to be a sacred one, a divine union, temperance. It's tempered by the Almighty. It's your destiny. All right. And sixth and final card for you is the Knight of Rods. This is who's coming in. This person who's coming in. Um, it's going to be a divine masculine, and it can be male or female, um, hetero or homo. That's irrelevant. This is in spirit. It's, he could be a fire sign or have heavy fire sign placements in his or her chart. Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Okay. That person, your counterpart is coming. And look. He's looking at you. This is spiritually. Okay. Call number one. Uh, let's pull a Lenormand card and ask for some advice. Okay. Oh wow, the moon. In the Lord, in the tarot deck, the moon is a darker card, and augurs uh, um, has a darker meaning. But in the Lenormand deck, it has the opposite meaning. It means romance. It's number eight. It's divine, infinity. Um, this is going to be a very romantic partnership. Uh, it's going to be. Kind of uh, maybe a little, um, let's say, cheeky, <laughs> kind of rom, kind of rom com. <laughs> and what the advice is is for you to tap into that, tap into your imagination, your fantasies. Don't be afraid to fantasize. You know. Honor, honor your your inner imagination, and imagine what you want. Okay. All right, pot number one. Mwah. Love you, bunnies. Hey, my bunnies. I'm here at in the canyon, Runyon Canyon, in the famous city of Hollywood, California, and I'm doing reading for you guys here on the grass. My mother. All right. And pile number two, you guys chose the fertility ruin. Now, you were probably drawn to this because I'm sensing pile number two. You guys are, are you guys have come to a, a stage of new hope. And I'm sensing you guys have been through a dark period. But You've processed it. You're excited. That's why you're drawn to this. Um, that's why you're drawn to this card, this rune. And the word fertility, the concept of fertility, number eight. You are ready for a new cycle. You're ready to leap. You're over the heartache. You've closed a chapter and you're, you're excited. You're excited to hatch out this egg. 
and grow. Look at those pot leaves, the flower, and the honeybee. Powerful symbolism. All right, pull it zero. First card, the star card, card of Aquarius. Nice. Okay. Pile number two. This means this means your wishes are coming true. This is wish fulfillment. Card of Aquarius. So we enter the age of Aquarius. Um, your wish is coming true. Okay, let's get card number two. Knight of Rods. Well, Paul number one got him too. Oh, uh, this could be an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. Or have those placements in their chart. It's a divine masculine energy. Doesn't matter whether it's male or female, hetero or homo. Is irrelevant. This is energetically, spiritually. Okay, so apply it as it fits to your situation. Someone's coming. He's coming, or she's coming. And look, this fire sign, this fiery individual. Look who he's looking at. He's looking at you. Perhaps you're an Aquarius. Maybe you have heavy Aquarian placements in your chart. Card number three, Temperance. Paul uh, number one got this exact same card too. Got both of these cards, in fact. Um, this union that's coming is is going to be a divine union. Like I explained, number one, temperance. In the traditional, it's the Archangel Michael with the two chalices balancing the water, pouring it back and forth, tempering, getting it just right. Polarities energy is just right and that's what's coming to you it's going to be a, a, a perfect fit it's going to be everything you've been wishing for fourth card wow okay the sun reversed okay like i sense just from the rune card you you have you're coming out of this you this dark phase in your life, a phase of heartache, um, perhaps dark phase, loneliness, and you've done your shadow work. So you're coming out of this, this dark phase, that's why the sun's here reversed. Um, a new chapter, this new cycle, you're fertile, you're is ready to be born. Four. Wow, three of cups, perfect. You see, this is the new cycle. It's going to be very... Um, going to be buoyant, very celebratory, um, a happy cycle is coming for you after a dark period. The sun is rising again. And the final card, Ace of Rods or Ace of Wands. Wow. This is um, reconfirming the fire energy. Um, like I said, perhaps this, this individual, he or she is an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, or has those heavy placements in his or her chart. Um, and I'm sensing this is a very sexual course. This is a very phallic symbol. It's very phallic. Male energy, very masculine energy. Um, and um, when I'm just in getting energetically, it's going it's to be a very sensual, erotic union. Divine eroticism. Good things are coming for you, Paul number two. And I'm telling you right now, just energetically, what I'm feeling is I'm feeling excited for you. And I, I can understand why you chose the fertility card. You can feel it. You can feel it coming, can't you? Let's get an advice card, a little Norman card. Okay. Wow. Yeah, a three came out so we're gonna take them all okay now this card in the Norman the whip is a dark card this means um, bondage being emotionally in emotional bondage addictions um, perhaps um, obsessions 
And I think that's what you're coming out of, Palm number two. You're coming out of this. And I think that what the advice is, don't fall back into these kind of habits, becoming too attached or, or obsessed. or um, Don't, that old version of yourself, whatever you went through before in your last relationship, be very vigilant with yourself and how you interact and be very vigilant about your emotions okay keep yourself in check is what is what the advice is is how I'm reading it and what is being downloaded to me all right and now you got three cards they jumped out if you, you guys saw the second card is the letter that means that this person that's coming into your life um, is probably gonna contact you via writing text message social media you know um, in your messenger or in your on your IG direct messaging um, I think this person you might meet him on or him or her online maybe you I sense maybe you already know them this is usually um, indicating someone you haven't heard from in a long time this could be someone coming back or someone from your past if not it's someone you know I sense okay let's go to the third and moment card the rider there he is or she they're they're coming in riding in um, this new connection this new union he's coming in and he's holding the caduceus two serpentine energies facing each other forming this this wave, this energetic wave, see, frequency, and this guy is balanced. This guy has his polarities in control. He might be very progressive, perhaps very spiritually aware, very intelligent. I get a very good energy from this pawn number two. All right, all right, pawn number two. Mwah. Pile number three. Those of you who chose the flow card, this room. Now, you were drawn to this because um, I am sensing you guys are in, in a state of flow. You guys are in flow and you guys are seeking more flow in your life. Um, I sense a very, um, very balanced energy with you, Palmer Three. That you definitely are in flow, and um, you're not in need. You you don't feel a sense of need, or um, you you're not in a state of lack at all. You're in a state of abundance right now in your life, and I sense it's within yourself. All right, let's pull the tarot. First card, Queen of Swords. Um, this is the uh, Aquarian Queen, or, or Gemini or Libra, air sign, suit of air. And um, the Queen of Swords gets a bad rap. It, it's um, known by many as the the Ice Queen, the, the bitch card, but she's not. That's not what she is. She's very perceptive, um, very analytical, very independent. Um, she doesn't need uh, a king to um, fulfill her, and a king's going to have to meet her on her terms. Okay, she has her own agenda. She has her own goals, her own pursuits. Um, she's not um, co-starring in the king's movie. She's a star of her own movie. Okay, she's not a bitch. She just—it's just that she can see through people. She can feel their thoughts, and that's she's in flow, just like the rune card, card number three. You're in flow. You're in control. You're you're in your power. All right, second card. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. This is this is the dream, right? 
This is material success, um, romantic success. Um, pile number three, I'm getting a really powerful energy about you guys. You guys are about to have it all. Um, great abundance and and security. Um, material security is coming into your life as well as emotional. And why is that? Because you're in your power, you see? You're in flow, you're balanced, you're independent, you're not, you're not in a state of need. And now you've unlocked, the universe is being unlocked for you. You're manifesting this now. Um, a harmonic relationship, um, an abundance. It's going to lead to abundance, material wealth. Third card. The Empress. There it is. There it is, pile number three. Perfect. See? The Queen of Swords to the Empress. You're an Empress energy. She's in flow. She's in control. Okay? Um, and this is also material wealth. Abundance. Um, this is the, a feminine energy. The feminine energy. Divine feminine. Um... Yeah, not only are you Queen of Swords, you, you're you're evolving and becoming a nurturer as well because you're in balance. You can embrace the side of you. You don't have to be defensive anymore. Okay? But you are both. You will defend yourself if you have to. But you're also very giving. All right? And that's why, because of your, your giving nature that you finally attained within yourself, that's why you're being granted the abundance fourth card eight of cups there it is this is what you went through heartbreak and see you turned away you left it behind what was not full of these empty cups you have went through your dark night you have went through your heartache I sense it's been some time now that's why you're so um, evolved Yeah, this card is asking you to just right now reflect on what you've been through and how far you've come. Okay, and who you are now. All right. Fifth card. Perfect. The Magician. You see what you're doing, number three? out of balancing yourself and being in flow being in control of your thoughts of your emotions as alchemy and you have you are manifesting you're manifesting your visions your desires and now pile number three this is coming for you not because of good luck or good fortune but because of graduation, you've earned this. You've done the shadow work. You have become the magician. You're in flow. You're in power. All the elements here, air, water. So there's the one, fire, earth. Okay, final card. Six of Cups, wow. Okay, this connection that's coming, it's, it's gonna come naturally. It's, it's, this is, the, this is the, the Twin Flame card. This is the Divine Union, the Soulmate card. See this, these two innocent um, beings, childlike, you know. And a child, children are very, um, they're very androgynous, aren't they? They're, they're, they're not um, super masculine or super feminine. They're, they're very, they're just themselves. They're free. It's they're, they're 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 really in their soul. It's before they get defined by social customs and and um, projections. They just want to play. They're pure. It's pure love. That's what's coming. It's it's a pure love that's come for you. It's a a, a divine union going to bring a lot of and it's an innocent love I'm sensing it's an innocent love 
very romantic. I'm getting a very romantic vibe here. Very romantic. A little moving, actually. Okay. Now, what's your advice? Let's get a little advice card out of the Norman deck for you, pile number three. That one's come out. Clouds. Okay. Here it is. This is a dark card. It usually portends, um, if it comes early in the reading, before all the cards, it means that the dark clouds are coming in. But in your reading, this is the last card. It, uh, the advice is, you know, the dark times are passing. The dark clouds are passing. They're leaving. See? There it is. The castle. See how it all connects? Your dark times are passing. And you've had faith this whole time. And you've done the work. Congratulations, pile number three. Thanks, my bunnies. Mwah. All right, my bunnies. Now, like I said, it's been a long time. And I'm glad to be back. And um, be here with you. And be a conduit. And be a voice. Okay? I thank the Divine Trinity, the Holy Mother, the Holy Father, and the Eternal Magic Child. And I thank the Elohim, I thank the angels, and I thank all of you. And I'm beaming rays of light your way and sending you blessings with energy. Okay. Um, please like, share, subscribe really appreciate that. Okay? God bless you guys.